Hi, I'm Dominic with PowerDoctor.com. In this video, we're going to touch on some of the key points of the inspections that you'll be performing at CarDoctor.com. We work diligently to perfect what we believe to be the most innovative inspection app in the industry. With that being said, let me walk you through our process. First, we'll talk about dealing with the sellers. As we all know, life can throw curveballs in our daily plans, and that applies to our sellers as well. The last thing we want to do is bite traffic just to get to the seller's location and find out if a vehicle has been sold or the seller can't accommodate the inspection at the appointed time. The simplest way to prevent this is to make a confirmation call to confirm your appointment. You can access the seller's contact number right from the app. All you have to do is open the corresponding inspection and right on the detail page is where you'll find the seller's number. On the right side of the phone number, you can press the call button to make the outgoing call. Make sure to identify yourself as the cardoctor.com vehicle inspector. Please keep in mind, dealerships can get extremely busy, so we always need to maintain a professional and courteous manner. Next, we'll talk about verifying the VIN. This is how you make sure you have the right vehicle. When starting your inspection, there is no higher priority than verifying the VIN. It's not very profitable to you as an inspector to spend time inspecting the vehicle just to get home and find out it was the wrong car. Always remember when entering a dealership, they can have several vehicles of the same make, model, and color. At the end of the day, you're protecting your income. And the best way to do so is to verify that VIN. And you'll just check the one that's been supplied by our customer. And in the rare case that you find the VIN supplied by our customer is incorrect, just contact the inspector support and they will assist you in correcting the issue. Next, we will cover how you move through the inspection. The cardoctor.com app has been designed to walk you as the inspector through a step-by-step -step inspection process. So let's get started. The first area of the inspection is the pre-selected photo section. This will move you through a step-by-step -step on each image, starting with the exterior, then the interior of the vehicle. Keep in mind, it's up to you to make sure that you take clear photos, and remember, that will affect the quality of your report. The second area is the itemized checklist. This will take you part by part through every inspectable area of a car. This will cover the exterior, interior, tires and wheels, and the undercarriage. When you're working your way through the section, you'll need to make sure that you're focusing on every detail. Each item offers you three choices, good, NA, and comment. If there's no issue to report, select the good tab and move on. If the item doesn't apply, for example, a transfer case on a front wheel drive car, just select the NA tab. If an issue does exist, select the comment tab to indicate the problem. When you come across a flaw or something that needs further attention, it's required that you add a comment and at least one picture. Multiple photos can be added to a single item comment area if necessary. There are two ways to add a comment. First, by using the pre-selected list that has been supplied, or you can manually type in a comment using the keyboard. Now let's move on to the undercarriage section. Every inspection should have a minimum of six undercarriage photos. That's three per side covering the forward, center, and rear sections of the undercarriage. When taking these photos, make sure to aim the camera so that all six photos will cover the entire undercarriage. If necessary, take more photos to ensure complete coverage. You'll need to pay close attention to any issues with the undercarriage, such as frame damage, heavy rust or rot, drivetrain leakage, brake leakage, etc. Keep in mind, these are only parking lot inspections. We're not asking anyone to crawl under a vehicle, but you just took undercarriage photos, so simply review them. And just a tip to all of you that are new to the vehicle inspections, a pad to kneel on is very helpful. Also, Selfie sticks can be used for undercarriage photos as well. 
just review to make sure you captured the desired angle of the photo. Now let's talk about the wheel and tire section of the checklist. There's a few important points to cover. This is where you'll use the tread depth gauge. It's required to enter the tread depth in the comment section. If the tread depth is consistent for all four tires, one entry is all that's needed. If there's a variance on any individual tire, you'll need to identify that tire. For example, three tires read 830 seconds and the fourth is 630 seconds. Simply state three tires are 830 seconds and the rear passenger side tire is 630 seconds. The same idea applies when entering the manufacturer and tire size. Don't forget, also look for uneven tire wear, sidewall damage, and dry rot. As far as the wheel, note any damage including curb rash, gouges, paint issues, and missing lug nuts. And finally, let's cover connecting your cardoctor.com OBD reader. To get started, make sure you have the Bluetooth feature turned on. This is located in the settings section of your smartphone. If using an Android the first time you use the OBD reader, you'll need to go into your Bluetooth settings and find it. This action will not have to be repeated after the OBD is recognized. Next, you'll need to locate the vehicle's OBD port. Most OBD ports are located in or around the driver's side under dash. After locating the port, plug in the OBD reader, and the OBD reader will light up at this point, indicating the vehicle connection has been completed. Start the vehicle and press the red button in the center of the screen labeled Connect. It will now read the diagnostic trouble codes. Once it reads the vehicle's DTCs, hit the Next button. It will now read the emissions monitors. Once those are read, hit the next button. It's now time to do the RPM test. With the vehicle in park, you'll need to rev the engine up to 1500 RPM and look for the check mark indicating completion. Follow the same steps for the 2500 RPM test. The final portion of the OBD section is the driving test. First and foremost, make sure the vehicle has a valid license plate. Operate the vehicle in a safe manner, not only for your welfare, but for others around you. The driving test consists of three parts. One, accelerate to 25 miles per hour and wait for the bell indicating the test is complete. Two, accelerate to 45 miles per hour and wait for the bell indicating that test is complete. Three, continue the drive test, looking and listening for indicators of an issue. After returning to the seller's location, disconnect your OBD and complete the driving portion of the checklist, identifying any issues found. Now, let's talk about the temporary additional step that we are adding. For the first few months, we will be using an additional wired OBD page on the carddoctor.com app. With our ongoing development and AI learning in progress, we've decided that it is important to collect codes for comparison from a wired OBD reader. If a code is found on the wired OBD, please enter the complete code or codes. For example, just enter P0300, then hit add code. Now we will cover finalizing your inspection. In the summary page, type in a brief description of your findings, then hit next, which will take you into review. If you're satisfied after reviewing the report, hit the next, sign off on the report, and hit submit. 